Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. This is the last and final video on the topic problems on queuing theory. Already 15 problems I have completed in the previous videos. Now in this video 16, 17 and 18. Last three problems I am going to explain. And after watching all the theory videos and problems, I think you got a good command on this topic of queuing theory. Most often in examination they will ask a theory question regarding the concept of queuing theory. What are the assumptions of queuing theory? What are the operating characteristic features of queuing theory? What is single model, single channel queuing model? All these things apart from that problems. The problems are based on the formulae. So if you want the perfect knowledge, watch all the videos. So before starting the 16th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points of 16, 17, 18, then I'll explain. Now, see the 16th problem. <clears throat> Students arrive at the head office of Universal Teacher Publications according to a Poisson input process with a mean rate of 40 per hour. So directly it is given the arrival rate is 40 customers or 40 students per hour. Time required to serve a student has an exponential distribution with a mean of 50 per hour. So we are given lambda 40 students per hour and mu 50 students per hour. Assume that the students are served by a single individual find the average waiting time of a student waiting time means waiting in the queue so what is average waiting time in the queue w queue second what would be the average queue length length means number of students waiting average number of students waiting in the queue that is l queue then what would be the average number of customers in the queuing system that means average number of students in the system, LS. So directly three questions are asked. So first of all, we write down what is a lambda and mu. Lambda 40 customers or instead of customers, you can write for 40 students. In this problem, students are given. So 40 students per hour, 50 students per hour, mu. Average waiting time of student, waiting time in the queue. That is WQ. The formula for WQ lambda divided by mu into mu minus lambda. Already so many problems we have done. So we are given lambda 40 divided by 50 into 50 minus 40. 50 minus 40 is 10. 10 into 50 500. So 40 by 500 R. Because time is measured in terms of R. Now we can convert that R into minutes by multiplying with 60. 60 minutes makes 1 hour. So 40 by 500 into 60, you will get 4.8 minutes. That is the average waiting time of the student in the queue. That's it. Next, average queue length. Queue length means average number of students waiting in the queue. That is LQ. The formula for LQ lambda square divided by mu into mu minus lambda. Lambda square 40 square, mu is 50, 50 minus 40, so 50 minus 40 is 10, 10 into 5 500, so 40 square, 40 into 40, 1600, so 1600 by 500 it is 3.2 customers or 3.2 students. Remember, uh, one of the drawback, one of the limitation of this queuing theory is we will get the units even in fraction. In real practice we don't have 3.2 customers. We have three customers or four customers, three students or four students, but the limitation is like this. So average queue length is 3.2. Average number of customers in the queuing system, complete system, what is the average number of students? LS. So the formula for LS, lambda divided by mu minus lambda. Lambda divided by mu minus lambda. 40 divided by 50 minus 40. 40 by 10 is four customers. So average number of students in the whole system, in the whole system is 4. Average number of students, students in the queue is 3.2. That's it. 
second. Next one is seventeenth uh, problem. In a railway station, only one train is handled at a time. That means service is provided only for one train at a time. The railway yard is sufficient for two trains to wait, while others is given signal to leave the station. So totally three stations, uh, three I mean yards are there. On one yard, the train ready for leaving, and the remaining two yards are the yards for staying the train. Till the time their turn comes up, they will wait at the yard. So two yards are there for waiting, and one yard is there for the serving serving the train. Now trains arrive at station at an average rate of six per hour, and the railway station can handle them at an average of twelve per hour. So lambda is six trains per hour, and the mu service service rate is twelve trains per hour. Assuming Poisson arrival and exponential distribution, find the steady state of probabilities of various number of trains in the system. That means what is the probability of zero train? Of one train, two train, three train, like that. The probability of p of zero, p of one, p of two, p of three, like that we have to calculate. Lastly, also find the average number of trains in the system. That is L S, average number of trains in the system. That is the problem. So here, lambda arrival rate six trains per hour, mu service rate twelve trains per hour, length of the queue two trains. Then maximum number of trains in the system is three, because two trains we can wait for their turn, whereas one train will be this at the yard to leave. So service will be provided to one train, whereas two trains will stand for in queue. The probability that there are no trains in the system. What is the probability that there are no trains in the whole system? P O. The formula for P O one minus lambda by mu. 1 minus 6 by 12, so 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5. We got P O probability of no train. Then same now since P N is equal to P O into lambda by mu to the power of n. Already in the previous problems also we have applied this formula. Now P one, P one is equal to P O into lambda by mu to the power of one, right? P O is 0.5. Already we have calculated lambda by mu. Lambda by mu means 6 by 12 is 0.5. 0.5 to the power of 1. So 0.5 into 0.5 is 0.25. So you can get 0.25 here. That is P1. P2 is P O into lambda by mu to the power of 2. So P O is 0.5. Lambda by mu is 0.5. 0.5 to the power of 2. That means 0.5 into 0.5 into 0.5. If you multiply 0.5 three times, we'll get P of 2. P of 3 is equal to P of O. Into lambda by mu to the power of three, so 0.5 is PO, and 0.5 to the power of three. So multiply 0.3 into 0.3 into 0.3 three times into 0.5. Then P of four, P of zero into lambda by mu to the power of four. So multiply four times 0.5 into 0.5 into 0.5 into 0.5 four times. Then again one time you multiply 0.5, you will get P of four. Like that, we can calculate for any probability p of five, p of six, p of seven, like that. Second, the average number of trains in the whole system L S L S formula is lambda divided by mu minus lambda. That means six divided by twelve minus six, six by six, one train. That is average number of trains in the system will be one train. That's all. This is the end of problem number seventeen. Now. Problem number eighteen: The arrival rate of customers at the banking counter follows Poisson distribution with the mean rate of thirty per hour. So, arrival rate in a bank: the arrival rate of customers thirty customers per hour. The service rate of the counter clerk follows exponential distribution with a mean of forty-five per hour. So, mu forty-five per hour, lambda thirty per hour. What is the probability of having zero customer in the system? P of zero. We know the formula for p of zero is equal to one minus lambda by mu. That's it. What is the probability of having eight customers? Same logic we apply. What we have done here. What we have done here. P one, P two, P three, P four. Like that we can calculate P eight. Probability of eight customers. 
Next one, what is the probability of 12 customers, P12? And find LS, LQ, LS, uh, WS, WQ. Straightforward, it is asking you to calculate LS, LQ, WS, WQ. That's all. Straightforward, very easy problem. This is the last and final problem on queuing theory. So first of all, arrival rate 30 customers per hour and service rate 45 customers per hour. So first of all, it is asking you what is the probability of zero customer? That means PO. P of so PO is equal to 1 minus lambda by mu, 1 minus 30 by 45, 1 minus 0 0.667. So PO is equal to 0 0.0333333. Continuously we are getting, so we have restricted 0 0.333. That is P of 0. Now probability of 8 customers in the system, P of 8 is equal to P of 0 into lambda by mu to the power of 8. Lambda by mu to the power of 8. So P of 0 is 0 0.33 into lambda 30 by 45 to the power of 8. So if on your calculator, if you calculate 30 by 40, 30 by 45, 8 times you are going to get 0.667 to the power of 8. Multiply 0 0.667 8 times, you will get 0 0.0390. Multiply P of 8 0 0.013. That's it. 8 times you have to multiply. Point zero point six six seven. Then probability of having twelve customers in the system exactly same p twelve is equal to p of zero into lambda by mu to the power of twelve. Twelve times you have to multiply, right? P of zero is zero point three three into thirty by forty five to the power of twelve. Thirty by forty five you will get you will get point uh, six six seven point six six seven to the power of twelve. So if you multiply 12 times, 0 0.0077, if you multiply 12 times, then multiply P of 12 is equal to 0 0.0025, that's all. So we have calculated P of 8, P of 12. Now it is directly asking you to calculate LS, LQ, WS, WQ. LS, the formula for average length of the system or average number of customers in the whole system, that is LS. Lambda divided by mu minus lambda. Lambda 30, mu 45, 45 minus 30, 15, 30 by 15, 2, that's it, LS we got. Now LQ, LQ means average number of customers in the queue, average number of customers in the queue. The formula for LQ, lambda square divided by mu into mu minus lambda, lambda square 30 square divided by 45 into 45 minus 30, so 45 minus 30 is 15, so 45 into 15. 30 square will be 900, 900 by 675, 1.33 customers in the queue, whereas two customers in the whole system, right? Then WS, WS stands for average waiting time of a customer in the whole system, average waiting time of a customer in the whole system. WS is equal to 1 divided by mu minus lambda, 1 divided by 45 minus 30. 1 by 15. So 1 by 15 is the R. Time is measured in terms of R. So if you want to convert it into minutes, multiply by 60. So 1 by 15 into 64 minutes is the WS average waiting time in the whole system. Last one WQ. Average waiting time of a customer in the queue. So formula for WQ is lambda divided by mu into mu minus lambda. Lambda is 30. 30 divided by 45 into 45 minus 30. 45 into 15 is 675. 30 by 675 R. But we want in minutes. So multiply that with 60. So 30 by 675 into 60, 2.67 minutes. That's it. So this is the end of 18th problem and the last problem on queuing theory. So Alhamdulillah, we have completed 18 problems on this queuing model. And if you watch the theory and problems, confidently you can face in examination. We'll, inshallah, we'll continue the next topic that is game theory in the next video. So if you're satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And lastly, buy the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we will start the next topic in the next video.